Hello, friends. Today we'll learn about flowering and non-flowering plants. Ooh, flowers look so lovely. These are the fruits of the flowering plants. There are small seeds inside the fruits. Flowering plants are a type of vascular plant which produces flowers in order to reproduce. Scientific name for the flowering plants is angiosperms. You'll notice the flowering plants easily. These plants are the dominant and most familiar group of land plants. In this garden, you can see so many flowering plants. Show the pictures to your friends. This vibrant hibiscus, the beautiful rose, this cute sunflower, the juicy mangoes tree, and the papaya. Zoom into this. These ripe papayas look so tasty. They are some of the flowering plants. Let's have a look at the stages of life cycle of the flowering plants. Seed. They start their lives as seeds. Seeds are covered with a hard outer shell that protects the embryo inside it. Germination. The seed needs air, water, and soil to grow. At first, tiny roots are emerged and then the stem grows. Seedling. Young plant emerges in this stage. You can easily see small leaves in the tiny plants. Mature plant. In this stage, the seedling continues to grow into a full mature plant with roots, stems, and leaves. Flowering. The mature plant grows flowers. The flowers will produce seeds through pollination. When the seeds end up on the ground, the life cycle starts all over again. Open the diagram of life cycle of a flowering plant. Seed, germination, seedling, mature plant, flowering, and the same repeats again. Ah, see this mountain beaver is happily playing with the fern leaves? The fern plants do not use flowers to reproduce. This type of plants which do not produce flowers are called the non-flowering plants. The spore bags are located on the back of the leaf. These are sorus, the groups of sporangia which contain spores. And here, these are spores which are further used in reproduction in the non-flowering plants. There are two main types of non-flowering plants. Plants like mosses and fern that use spores to reproduce. These are the pine trees which are conifers. They use seeds to reproduce and are called gymnosperms. Let's have a look at the life cycle of a non-flowering plant fern which uses spores for reproduction. At first, tiny spores starts to appear on the leaves. These form on the undersides of the leaves in spore cases called sporangia. In second stage, the mature gamophyte produces both male and female gametes. Then the zygote develops. It contains a complete set of DNA to form a new fern plant. Final stage is sporophyte. They grow and releases spores. Then the life cycle starts again. Now look at this pine tree. The gymnosperms like pine and other conifers reproduce using their cones. If the pollen lands on a female cone, then the female cone will produce seeds. After this, new plants grow from the seed. You're planting a plant. Very good. Besides providing oxygen for you to breathe, plants make life on Earth sustainable. So, we should take care of the plants. Now, you know a lot about flowering and non-flowering plants. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.